Hey Taurus, what's up? This is a love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Someone's watching you from a distance, keeping, their, keeping you at arm's length, but this person is definitely you watching you, okay? They're very guarded. Their guards are up. They feel that you may harm them or they feel the need to protect themselves or defend themselves from you, you know, due to either past hurt that they've gone through in other relationships or because they're just insecure, okay? They have their guards up. Just, they just don't trust you, okay? But someone's definitely keeping an eye on you all this while. On your mind, Taurus is the ace of pentacles while the person you're dealing with is very, very defensive, okay? This person feel, is preparing themselves probably for some kind of uh, movement from your side, some kind of attack from your side or some communication from you. Okay, because you definitely are in the mood to communicate with them with the Knight of Wands here. This person out here with the tower here, okay, this person's going to be, there's going to be some huge surprise in their attitude. I think this person's attitude is going to shock the shit out of you. Right now with the Nine of Cups here as the current situation here, I feel there's a wish fulfillment coming in, Taurus. Now again, energies can be switched, the sides can be switched, okay, so this can definitely be you, Taurus, and this can be the person you're dealing with, who wants to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles, wanting to offer you a new start, a new practical new start, a new beginning, something committed, okay, there is a golden opportunity here. But the strength here, I feel in this emotions, this person, it's going to take a lot of courage for this person to come towards you, okay, so this person has a choice, either this person gets eaten by uh, the situation, or they try to tame their situation by taming their emotions, okay, and gathering the strength and the courage to come towards you. And that's what they're doing. You, on the other hand, here, you, in your emotions is the king of souls. What the fuck? So in your emotions, you're going to be very practical, very logical, very cold, very detached from this person. See, there is something that this person did because of which your guards are up, okay? You're just like very defensive when this person comes in towards you or are already. But with the Nine of Cups here, something's going to make you very, very happy. I think it was a wishful fulfillment for you, okay? Or oh, this could also be you who's just very happy where you are. You're okay. You're wanting to be single. And uh, you realize that the real happiness is where you say you are enough and you don't need anyone. You're not emotionally codependent on someone, okay? You've reached a very dangerous point of freedom out here. Where you don't need anyone's approval. Where you don't need anyone to tell you how much they love you. You don't need anyone. You're just okay where you are is what I'm getting here. Okay. Guys, I'm not going with the literal tarot meanings. I'm just going along with what I'm feeling and intuitively picking up. Okay. So if it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. It's not your story. But with the tower here in your in this person's attitude. If this is you, Taurus, in your attitude here. You're going to shock the shit out of this person. I don't know why. But I feel there's going to be a huge shake-up. I feel that this person's coming towards you with the Knight of Wands here. They're rushing in towards you. But I feel with the Tower here, it's going to be a huge surprise for you. Or something's going to be a very, a very big shock for them. Your approach towards them. Whatever. But let's see. Because I don't think they expect you to be in this King of Swords energy. Let's see. Uh, what's the Nine of Cups? Whoa. the lovers this person loves you this person's choosing you i'm feeling this could be like forbidden love okay this could be a relationship where probably you are married or they are married or both of you are married you know to someone else and you guys want to come together but this is a very very sacred union and this is what you've been waiting for for all this while taurus the union's coming in the union's coming in and uh, this person chooses you. They love you to the moon and back. Not only one, this person wants you physically, but they want you physically, emotionally, spiritually. This is a very divine connection. You guys are twin flames. You were in the twin flame journey, and I think you maintain your peace all this while here. See, three of swords. There was, an, there was a breakup. There was a separation here. Something caused a lot of emotional distress. Could be a third party situation. Third party situation does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be any external thing that came between you guys. Person, place, thing career money people people's opinions their own approach their own belief system okay maybe they were non-committal or maybe they had some fears around the situation okay but whatever that was that came between you guys which led you guys to uh, go your separate ways this person's coming in they, they're choosing you they're making a decision a logistic decision of choosing you and wanting to be with you they want this union with you and that's going to be something that's going to make you very very happy what's the ace of pentacles What's the Ace of Pentacles? 
yeah now this person okay so i think this person could be someone you know probably who was someone very focused on their money their career their goals their work work could be like they were they could be a workaholic okay or they were very focused on their own project or whatever they were now this person is choosing a not to focus that much on their work they probably achieved their goals they they've successfully completed or achieved a goal that they wanted to they could have been learning something they've achieved that or this person was listening to a lot of other people's opinions okay now i think they're putting away all of that whatever it was work or people's opinions they're putting that on the side they're wanting to come towards you they're wanting to fix this connection wanting to reconcile wanting to build with you and get with you on the same page and they want to start from scratch with a magician here this person is someone who's hell bent on making things happen this person now has the willingness and determination to make it happen and more so this person knows that they can make it happen and they will make it happen they're dead serious about you you are the hand over the seven of wands there you're very, you're being prepared or you're just very defensive you're just wanting to like back off leave me alone what's the seven of wands here yeah because you're okay you wanted marriage you wanted commitment with this person okay i feel you realize your worth your value you're being very practical very grounded this time you could have been wanting marriage commitment from this person you would be wanting stability security you probably exhausted yourself okay by undervaluing yourself okay you probably never even dreamed of having a life without this person is also what i'm hearing and now you're going to fight for the stability and security but not with this person this person is coming towards you okay starting a new cycle with you it's a very fresh new beginning they want with you but something that holds a lot of substantial value here you on the other hand here you've already crossed that you already know what you want okay and i think you're going to be very committed to your goals but at the same time you're not looking at this person with a lot of emotions i don't see you being emotional at all about this person you're just more logic driven more practical and more uh, grounded is what i'm getting here okay and i think you're going to stand your ground you're not giving in to this person if they try to communicate with you or even if they do you're standing by your by what you say the strength here what's the strength here in this person's emotions i think they're mustering the courage to come towards you what's the strength here this person could be fearing some kind of i don't know what what's they fear coming towards you what's the strength here judgment yeah they're coming towards you with a reconciliation okay now this could have taken a lot of time for this person to come towards you okay it could have taken time but in their emotions they have two major arcanas which means the time frames could be very very long and plus it is a life changing event for this person and for you this person has had a huge change of mind or this person has learned their lessons finally they finally have a realization that it is time and they know that you they are probably even losing you out they probably feel that the more they wait and uh, if they don't get their shit together and they don't show the courage and don't make that bold move towards you you're out and that's why they're finally coming towards you with a reconciliation they want a resurrection for sure okay and it's taking a lot of strength guys it's taking a lot of strength for this person they're putting their ego on the side they they they're trying to boss up okay man up woman up and they're coming towards you wanting to reconcile with you okay ace of cups this person wants a so many aces ace of pentacles ace of cups they want an emotional cycle with you but also at the same time they want to offer you something stable uh you on the other hand are the king of swords yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i heard you i get that no thanks what's the king of swords you are very straight forward and honest in your approach when this person comes in what's the king of swords you know the reality or the truth of the situation and you don't want to get into any kind of games that this person plays okay because with the knight of wands here this person could be very in and out of your life you know someone who had a very on and off connection non committal for sure okay and now this person realizes probably because with the judgment here um that you're almost very close to close you're very close to ending a chapter with this person okay and they're just like two steps behind you okay they just take some time to realize that what this connection was what's the king of swords here in your emotions why is the king of swords here six of pentacles for you it's like either it has to be an equal give and take either it's going to be a balanced relationship you meet me in the middle there's no 60 40 there's no 70 30 
there's nothing like that there is 50 50 only is what you're going to be very very clear about you are not going to make a move towards this person is what i'm getting you're waiting for this person to come towards you because you've done your research and you all you want is to solve this okay and i think according to your analysis there was a lack of balance here something there was a lack of reciprocity in this relationship and something was not balanced here you expect this person to give you what you deserve okay because if this person was giving to more people here you're not going to be able to take that anymore That's what you believe in. You believe in this balanced relationship. And if this is not going to happen, you're ready to rock the boat or you're ready to let this person go. You're literally in that phase of, uh, yeah, no bullshit, no nonsense. Because see the seven of wands, the king of souls, you, you're just like, I ain't going through any bullshit anymore. You know, I've had enough is what I'm hearing. But you definitely know your worth. What's the Knight of Wands here in their attitude or their... What's their attitude, Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? See, this person's rushing in. They are very passionate about you. What's the Knight of Wands? You may be fooled by the way they come in towards you, okay? Maybe a little flirtish, maybe a lot of passion here. But what's on their mind is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And with the judgment here. So, yeah, just telling you that's what's going on behind the scenes. What's the Knight of Wands? Five of Wands. Hmm. This person is probably in two minds. They want to rush in, okay? But I think with the Five of Wands here, this person is um, very unsure. Okay, they tried to walk away from you. They couldn't. But I feel with the Five of Wands here, this person also knows somewhere, somehow, that any kind of communication or any kind of initiation of communication from their side could trigger some kind of drama and chaos, okay? And that's something that they are not sure about if they want to trigger it right now, okay? That, so they're in two minds, but they want to rush in for sure. They want to, okay? Because you walked away with the Eight of Cups here, right? And now this person is like, they were trying to run away from their emotions all this while. I feel someone who didn't want to be emotionally vulnerable. They realized that they had a lot of feelings for you, okay? Or after the breakup, they realized they couldn't walk away from you. They thought they were okay on their own, okay? But this person wants to come back. But they're very conflicted in their head and heart. What do I do? What is going to be your response? Because with the strength here, I'm telling you, I keep my, my, my I keep getting drawn towards the strength here. It's like this person could have kept you on hold or could have resisted this relationship or could have hold, held back from you for a very long time. So probably eight months. Okay. But um, six to eight months is what I'm getting. Okay. But now this person's gathering their courage, okay, to come towards you. But they're still not sure. Maybe this person is also wanting to come in and trying to fight competition, okay? Or they're trying to fight out anything that is coming between you guys here. See, this person here with the five of wands here, they're coming in an energy of where, you know what? Yeah, if there are conflicts, it's okay. I'll solve them. You, on the other hand, here with the seven of wands, I think you've taken things too personally. Well, I'm not saying that you can't. Maybe there has been something which has put you in a point where, okay, you know what? Now this is getting personal. But this person out here is still that little, you know that friendly you know conflicts that they have it's still there on their mind the tower here why is the tower here your attitude is the tower so you definitely want things to shake up you definitely want a drastic change a drastic approach out here okay you want something dramatic if this person's just gonna come in and they're just gonna you know behave like a kid like a baby you're not interested okay so good luck to whoever's approaching taurus what's the tower here like this better be good for you otherwise the person who's dealing with taurus is up for a surprise or vice versa what's the tower here justice nice i don't think you're going to respond to this person even if you do respond to this person i think you're going to keep it very very limited you have two major arcanas in your attitude your attitude is going to be so badass taurus if not you, this is the cross watcher. You know your worth and you are going to do justice to this person by giving this person the shock of their life. And I think, I feel you're going to hold back. Probably this person is going to be very shocked with the kind of response that you're going to give them. It's like you always knew that this person was going to come back, but you were just keeping things to yourself. 
and i think there's going to be a huge shake up either you're going to be experiencing this shake up taurus when this person comes in okay or i feel in your attitude this is you you've completely changed you've gone through a huge personal transformation taurus by the time this person comes in and you're doing that why because things were imbalanced in the past year see six of pentacles and justice here they both almost talk about the same thing which is being balanced being fair justice okay righting the wrong okay yeah you're not settling for anything less than a marriage or a commitment or anything less than what you deserve is what i'm getting and this is like a huge change okay this is huge shift that you've experienced within yourself and that's going to be your attitude and i feel your attitude is going to put this person in a spot of where like oh damn i was better off not opening my mouth you know that's what i feel because that is a sudden shocking change but this is more like a transformation it's in your attitude so it's not an event but this is definitely you who's gone through a huge change it could have been very sudden and it's going to be very shocking for this person who's coming towards you okay but with the justice here i feel i'm only getting logic from your side taurus logic practical putting your emotions on the side everywhere while this person out here i like it because this person has pentacles on their side okay they have strength they have judgment they have good cards this person is dead serious about you okay they're returning and it it's going to be like pretty good but you on the other hand here i don't know i don't know what your approach is going to be like because you look like you're standing your ground and you're really going to make this person beg i feel you're going to make this person beg you're going to give literally give them a run for their money okay so that's what i have for you taurus that was badass i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye see you next time bye bye